muted all right you guys hi hope everybody is doing well I am just gonna go ahead and uh, make a birthday cake I have never done this before but um my oldest Marcus is 15 today and he's still at school and so I just wanted to see if I could make a birthday cake for him one that we both could enjoy of course it's gonna be sugar-free dairy-free and gluten-free so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. For anybody new here, hi, I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher. I am not a professional chef. I'm just a boy mom and a home cooker, and I've been making healthy substitutions. So let's see if we can make this cake. So I am doing this keto microwavable layer cake. You guys, um, you should have it in the uh, description. I am not keto. Keto allows you to have uh, dairy and I am dairy free. So I'm gonna walk you through the substitutes that I make. I know, what a surprise. Hi guys. Um, yeah, I just decided to hop on to see if I could make this cake for Marcus. So let's see. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I'm gonna put my uniform on and turn the air down and see if I can make a birthday cake for my son before he gets home from school. <clears throat> We do have Maggie merch. There are aprons that you can uh, customize. Hi, Wilbert. How are you? Hope everybody is doing well. Maya is here. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm going to see if I can get this done. All right. Never done this before, but that's never stopped me. So let's see. All right. So we're going to make three things. Actually, we're going to make the cake. We're going to make the... Uh... <laughs> Belle says, you love the dress. You like the polka dots? Thank you, my dear. Um, I got the black version of the red one. I'll do a twirl for y'all if I come to a stopping point. Um, so we're going to make cake. We're going to make chocolate ganache and we're going to make frosting. So we'll see. Hi, Erin, Laura. Thank you so much for being here and Maya as well. All right. So let me get a bowl. All right. Of course, I have nothing prepped. Let's see. Oh, microwave safe bowl and uh, parchment paper and spray release. You know what? One of the reasons, I don't know if you guys had a chance to watch the video since I just put it on there. Um, one of the things that I like about this recipe, what page? Oh, that's page two. Um, it uses the silicone microwave um cake dishes. I've never used these before. I just ordered them through Amazon. So it's a three pack and I don't know which one she used, but let's make the batter and see how big I need <laughs> because the one in her video looks taller. Mine looks kind of thin, but we're going to get through it. All right, add all ingredients to the bowl and mix well. So let's do our wet half cup of melted butter. Y'all know I'm dairy free, so I'm gonna do the goat's butter. So if you can have dairy, have some for me. For anybody new here, I'm using the Delamere goat's butter. Half a cup. So this is butter, looks like, cooks like, tastes like butter. Um, got some blueberries on it from my Maggie cakes. So I'm gonna cut off a nice chunk of this. So for this cake, I need a half a cup, which is this much. So I'm gonna eyeball. If I need to melt some more, I will. I'm just going to melt it in the gravy boat and then we'll pour it in there because with the extra butter, I could add garlic and some chives and make a nice garlic butter. All right. So I'm just going to put this butter in the gravy boat and put that in the microwave. <laughs> All 
And I just cover with a uh, paper towel in case it splatters. Today is the first day of school where I live. So it's the first day of school and it's my oldest birthday. And even though we're like that old married couple, we do not get along. If he's oil, I'm water. Um, but still, Marcus is 15 today, so I'm trying, y'all. All right, so we need melted butter, one and a half cups of almond flour. So to stay uh, dairy free, this is what I'm using from Walmart, almond flour. It's basically almonds that are ground down really fine. You can find this in a lot of uh, gluten free and maybe even keto recipes, even though I'm not keto. Okay, our butter is sizzling. You wanna catch your butter before it goes uh, brown. We're not trying to make toffee. Let me just swirl a little bit. And I need a half cup. We'll let that cool. Did I get enough? I actually need a little bit more. All right, so that's not full. One of the things about the uh, Delamere goat's butter, you all know I love it. It gives me that butter flavor without cow dairy. But it's not like, you know how regular butter has the markings there so you can tell? This doesn't. <laughs> Thank you so much, Erin Laura. I just got off the phone with someone and I said, I'm going to make my son a sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free cake. And she was like, how are you going to do all of that? I said, well... Let me show you. One and a half cups of almond flour. All right, so we'll move our butt over here. Ooh, hot. So we got one cup. This is the thing y'all know with cooking, I make up stuff as I go. So you just kind of figure it out. Hi, Sandy. Hi, God's girl. But with um, baking, you need to be precise, right? Stressful day, Monday, but let's see if we can do something that's a little bit therapeutic. See if we can get our, it's close, it's not full, but I'm going to call it. All right, we got our butter, one and a half cups of almond flour. Still have dishes in the dishwasher. With the kids in school, we gotta get uniforms embroidered and all of that. So we've got one cup. We're gonna put all the dry ingredients together and then add the wet to it. So I'm gonna eyeball a half. Okay, maybe I shouldn't. I'll do two quarters. So this is our quarter cup measure. My handle broke, it's janky. I guess that's something else that I need. Measuring cups that are not uh, homeless looking. Hi RM, thank you so much. RM is here. RM was inspired to do the uh, um, smoked salmon breakfast. That was awesome, thank you so much. If I inspire you guys to, t uh, to cook anything, feel free to tag me. I love seeing what you make. Oh, you need to calm down? Yeah, I've got meetings too, trust me. Trust me. One and a half cups of almond flour, two tablespoons of baking powder. Uh, Where is it here? Not here. Must be in here.
I know it's here. This is going to drive me nuts. All right, I'll find it. Let's keep going. Half cup of sweetener. So we're going to do, let's do swerve. <laughs> oh, thank you for the compliments, y'all. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. All right, we're going to do swerve for sweet. Now, I'm glad you guys love the retro. Oh, you like the apron? Thank you. Oh, yeah. Got to give it to you. You would think I have my stuff together. Half a cup of sweetener. So let's do two quarter cups. And I am using a swerve, which is a sugar-free. This is my sweetener substitute. It's like um, the granular one. So it's like the crystals. And uh, who is it? Sandy, we're sending love and light your way. I know what you mean before an interview. Half cup sweetener. I know what you mean, but you're going to nail it. I know you will. All right, slow down, find the baking powder. Did I give it to my mom? I don't think so. All right. I'm going to look at my pantry one more time. If anybody knows a uh, substitute for baking powder, I got cream of tartar. Can I use cream of tartar instead of baking powder? I cannot find the baking powder. And I have looked everywhere. I have cream of... Can I use this? What is the difference? And it's only two tablespoons. Does anybody know? Because I don't want to waste too much more time looking for baking powder and I know it's here. I'm going to find it when we're done. Yeah, I don't see it. 
Thank you, my dear Val. One teaspoon of baking soda for every tablespoon. No, what about baking? Mm. What about this one? Cream of tartar? Can I use this? Does anybody know? Instead of um, baking powder? You can use cream of tartar. Woo! <sighs> Thank you, class. Two tablespoons. Sorry, y'all. All right, so we're going to use cream of tartar. The reason I was wondering is because I know when I've done the cloud bread, one recipe had baking powder and one recipe had cream of tartar. So hopefully my... Brandon says no. <laughs> Brandon says no. Why is that, Brandon? Brandon. So it says two tablespoons of baking powder. All right, Brandon is saying no. I'm going to look one more time while you tell me why. And Wilbert says, you never heard of it. I know, right? Never fear, Maggie is here. Oh my God, y'all. Okay, cream of tartar going in here. It was all the way. Oh my God. Y'all got me nervous. Okay, focus Maggie. All right, now, that's the other thing I need. I need a pretty pantry. It looks like a dumpster fire. Two tablespoons baking powder. I know, y'all. I'm sorry. All right. Egg whites, vanilla. So we got the butter. We got the sweetener. Egg whites. All right. So we're going to mix the dry. <laughs> All right, so this is our almond flour, which is keeping it gluten-free. Um, so if you're trying to avoid carbs, that may be an option for you. And it is sugar-free sweetener. The Swerve is made from, I think it's made from erythritol, which is a plant-based sweetener that doesn't have calories or spike the blood sugar. Um, yeah, sometimes, just every once in a while. I don't know if it's just the little almonds. Okay. All right, so we got our dry, and then let's add our wet. It's supposed to be a half cup of butter, a little under. But I'm greedy, so I'm going to scrape. All right. Half cup of melted butter one cup of liquid egg whites. So this is what I'm using just from the fridge. We got one cup. These are great for an omelet. Um, I like to do the omelet florentine, which is the omelet, spinach, and tomato. Another red, white, and green for our Italian flag. And one tablespoon of vanilla. Y'all know I like to do the vanilla paste. Tablespoon. If you have extract, that's fine. I'm going with the paste. It has the little specks in there. All right, so we got a nice amount of vanilla. Use our spatula to get it all out. Because we're the greedy gong gongs. All right, so this is our cake batter, all right? Now, interestingly enough, on the recipe it says 
put it in a microwave safe bowl. Yeah, we're making a two layer cake. That's not bad. All right. So we've got our cake batter. So if you saw the picture, it's a two layer cake. Thank you. Oh, RM got the um, apron. Let me know which one did you get. Did you get this pink and yellow one? And you can customize it for free. And yes, they always have a coupon. Thank you, my dear. I love aprons. They're so, in my opinion, domestic and feminine, which I like to be. So that's me. You can have it your way, Burger King. Y'all already know. Yes, y'all got me sweating over here for this baking powder. I can't blame you. It's my fault. I should have been ready. But I was not. All right, so here's the thing. I think we're gonna do the big cake because if you look at her, um, YouTube video, she has these silicone molds, but instead of being this shallow, it's like this deep. So I'm gonna do a two layer cake and I'm gonna use this big one. I'm just gonna rinse it off since I just opened it. And this says put parchment paper, but on her, um, video she didn't use parchment paper so let me see if I can cut it oh god I may not need to but let me rinse this off All right. and we'll dry it off let's see if I had time shouldn't be baking under such stressful <laughs> you like this apron oh thank you I love the pop of color all right so we are going to spray this is coconut oil for me I'm just using my refillable sprayer it's in the cheat sheet you can put whatever oil you like in there all right if I were to use parchment do I want to Parchment paper is treated with silicone, so it's great for baking and nonstick. You would put this down. Now I'm getting real precise. Outline with a marker or a pencil. And then you would cut it. So I'll do one with and one without. And it's not gonna be perfect because I'm already. All right, so I'm gonna get some scissors and just cut out this. I can plop it inside the tray. My kitchen shears come apart and I've got sandals on. All right, so I'm gonna have to do two of these at least, maybe even three. I'm only gonna do one with parchment to see if it makes a difference. This is something kids could help out with. I'm not a great cutter. <laughs> you love coconut oil? Oh yeah. High custard explosion, yeah, custard explosion is here. We may have another one, bring them all. Burnt, burning the bacon, exploding the custard, lemon cake struggles. This is birthday cake struggles. I'm that mom. I'm like, I'm not doing anything. You've been so mean. Here I am making a cake. Selfish motives. Hopefully I can have some cake. All right. So in our silicone mold, I did spray it with coconut oil. That's what I'm using. And we're gonna put this down in there so that it comes up easy. And then I'll spray it again. All right, now we're gonna put our batter in here. Not all, we're gonna try and do a two layer cake. All right, let's see, is that about half? Set that over the sink so it doesn't drip all over my counters. 
All right, so it says to microwave this. That's why I'm trying to do here. Microwave this in two minute increments. So we'll do two minutes and see how it comes out. Let me put my... I washed my microwave dish. You need to run it through the dishwasher from time to time. Y'all know that thing gets dirty. All right. So we're gonna put this in the microwave for two minutes. Once it's done, we'll take it out and then do the other one for two minutes. Okay, so while our cake is going, now we're going to make our chocolate sauce, chocolate frosting. I don't know, y'all. I just watched a video and this is what I do. I just run into it. I'm like, I can do that. But with my scholars, I can do everything. Oh yeah, you gotta get silicone molds. This is a first for me, y'all. I've been wanting to do this. You know, I could do like a step cake. Do I feel like doing that? Maggie trying to get extra. All right, so next, we're gonna cook it two minutes at a time. So we're gonna cook it two minutes and see how it's looking. And now we're gonna make our chocolate. So for the chocolate, we need six ounces of chocolate chips. Okay, this is almost done. So this is what we're using, Chalk Zero, no sugar added chocolate chips. So this is what I'm using. So let's just move everything over. I'll figure out something with the cream of tartar. Maybe we'll make our cloud bread, right? Found the baking powder. You know what, I just need to keep it over here. All right. We're gonna use the stove top here, so I'm just gonna get a little working space because we're gonna melt our chocolate. Hope you all are doing well. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, class. Even when it's crazy, I love cooking for y'all. <laughs> It is a labor of love for me. So much going on. Y'all already know. And I thought I'd make the boy a chocolate cake. All right. Let's see how we're doing. Whoa. I'm taking the whole tray out because y'all know it's wobbly. I'm gonna go in for another minute, but you can see here it's coming up to the edge. See there? So I'm gonna go in for another minute and a half and see how it's looking. Still kind of wet in the middle. All right, let's get our stove top for our chocolate. So we need six ounces of chocolate chips. This is seven ounces. It's okay. Maybe I'll eat an ounce. <laughs> Two thirds cup of heavy cream. It looks good. I'm just going to put a toothpick in there to see if it's still wet. Just want to make sure our cake is set so I'm putting a toothpick in it looks pretty dry yeah it feels pretty good all right so we're gonna take this out we're gonna pour in the other cake because I want it to cool so it's 
just gonna put it on a plate. Actually, I should probably put the plate over top of this. So I just put the plate upside down and I'm gonna turn over the whole thing. You like my giggle? What did I say? Who knows, y'all? All right, so we got the microwave tray. Let's see how our cake came out. Not bad. And then we've got the parchment paper. This is why you use parchment. It just peels right off. All right. So we've got the first layer of cake. It's thin, but it's done. So then we're going to rinse and repeat. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Okay. Focus, Maggie. Um, I'm going to do one without the parchment just to see if it comes up nicely. I'm going to use the same tray. I'm just going to spray with coconut oil. And this is the almond flour cake. All right. Hopefully I eyeballed the amount and it's already starting to separate a little bit. Y'all like this spatula action. So let me give it to you. Scrape it all because we're greedy. And they say do it at two minutes at a time. I'm just stirring it up just so we can make sure it's um, consistent. They say microwave it two minutes at a time so you can check it. But you want to stop when it's done before it gets burnt. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing. This is going to go in the microwave for two minutes. I know, right, Mona? So 145, let me wash my hands. All right. Six ounces of chocolate chips, two thirds cup of heavy cream, and y'all know I'm dairy free, so I'm gonna use the coconut cream. If you can have dairy, have some for me. So this is what I'm using, y'all have seen it before, silk, heavy whipping cream made from coconut milk. So I need two thirds of a cup. So this is a third cup. So Groceries are expensive, y'all. If you can make a chocolate cake or a, a cake at home, why not? All right, so I need two-thirds cups. So y'all can see it's nice and creamy. We use these in our, what was it, the pink drink and, uh, you know, other things. You can whip this and make whipped cream. So we've got our heavy cream, dairy-free from me. greedy. So we want to get that out. Mm, tastes like coconut. All right. So heat heavy whipping cream in a small saucepan just until it begins to simmer. So this won't take long. I'm going to put that on, on medium. Let's see how our second slice of cake Yes, that's why I'm running like a crazy person. I see you talking. The boys are at school. I'm going to pick them up soon. I'm trying to have a cake ready when Marcus comes home. So the top layer of cake is still jiggly, so we're going to go back in for another couple minutes. Yeah, I'll show you guys. Um, where did I put my phone? Oh, it's somewhere. I'll find it. I did that. I haven't posted it yet, but I was going to show y'all. I did that mom first day of school picture. You know how I am. Let me see. We were actually on our, our way out, and they. I was like, oh, I forgot the picture. They were like, mom. I'm like, hey, allow me. 
I don't have too many moments in my life of pure joy. Maybe it's joy that y'all are going back to school. So this was this morning. So this one is 15 today. So I'm trying to make a cake for Swim Shady. Don't they look thrilled? Whatever. Let's see how our, oh, it's simmering. Okay. Just until it starts to simmer. Pour over chocolate chips. So this is done. So that was simmering. So see, that didn't take long at all. You don't want to scorch it. They look great. Thank you. I try y'all. Y'all know I try. If it all goes to pot, you can't say that Maggie didn't try with these kids. Woo. I'm going to take out an ounce because I have more chips than I need. I'm greedy. All right. Pour the heavy cream, the hot heavy cream over the chips. Let sit for two to five minutes. Then stir. All right, greedy. I love being a mom, but y'all, some days. Mm. Hot cream, chocolate chips. Yeah, in um, in the South, y'all know in Atlanta, we start in August, sometimes end of July. Cake number two. Let's put it on a plate. Mm. Put a plate over top, turn it upside down. <laughs> Microwave tray. All right, let's see how this one came out. Ah, came out. Parchment or no parchment. Silicone. This is a three pack on Amazon. I wanted to try it first. And then I will um, add it to my cheat sheet, but just in case. I don't know if y'all can see that. Nuke, N-E-W-K. Silicone, round. It says soap. Four, six, and eight inch. That's a three pack. Nuke is a brand, N-E-W-K. So our second cake, I'm going to set this over here. All right. Give this a couple more minutes. We're done with the stove. It's going to be a disaster when I pick them up from school, but there'll be a cake here. <sighs> I'm coming to the comments, y'all. I may, yeah, because I'm... Okay, two to five minutes. Stir until fully combined. So this is our chocolate ganache. So this is what I'm going to pour all over the cake to make a um, nice ooey gooey frosting. And I think y'all can see that. So we have chocolate chips in here and warm cream, dairy-free cream for me. Mona says I'm gonna enjoy them. Yeah, fifth grade and second grade. I am a much better and happier parent of the little ones, but I had my time. We did all of that. You know, these teenage years, I don't want to bring y'all down. Mona says, this is my first kids week home since school started. They went straight to summer camp. Yeah, no. Y'all, I didn't know this, but after age 13, I mean, they could still go to camp, but you don't get that flexible spending tax benefit anymore. So y'all look at our chocolate. I'm just stirring this up and then we're going to set it aside. But uh, yeah, so there was no camp. So every day I was here working and every day they were home, not, you know, they went to their dads and 
you know, and I, you know, we traveled, but no, they've been home looking at me and I've been looking at them. Y'all, isn't this beautiful? This would be great on chocolate strawberries. So all it was was a bag of sugar-free chocolate chips and then warm the cream just until it's simmering, pour over it and then let it sit. So y'all can see, this is what we're gonna put all over that cake. So this looks amazing in my opinion. All right, so we got this and yes, you already know it's coming, but let me put this to the side to cool. Oh, mercy. it's so good focus Maggie okay sorry y'all last thing is the frosting didn't that mix up nice okay last thing is the frosting so we got our two cakes done two almond flour cakes we got our chocolate sauce all right oh here's here's my phone y'all I'm all over the place what do I need four ounces of cream cheese if you can have cream cheese, have some for me. Philadelphia cream cheese, y'all already know. I'm dairy free, so I'm gonna use my goat's cheese. <laughs> Research purposes, you already know. I thought I had a whole one, but I don't. This is what I'm using, my Chavri goat's cheese. You can see this container is five ounces. Some of it's gone, we're just gonna call it. Four ounces of cream cheese, a third a cup of powdered sweetener. All right, so this is what I'm using for powdered sweetener, my Swerve. This is the confectioner's. This is the powdered one. One teaspoon of vanilla again, okay? One and a half cups heavy whipping cream again. And strawberries. Ooh, y'all, we're going to put some strawberries in there. You can't hear? Oh, one second. All right, y'all let me know if that's any better. Y'all know I'm struggle streaming, struggle cooking over here. Okay, so we're gonna use the mixer for this. So let me get a big bowl. Hopefully y'all can hear, give me a thumbs up. All right. Add the cream cheese. So for me, goat's cheese. So I'm just gonna put all of this in here, all right? Since this is the rest, well, let me be. All right, if this is, um, if you're not dairy free, Go ahead and use your Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm a little light, but it's okay. Third cup of powdered sweetener. So let me, yeah, I'll just put it in here because I'm gonna need more heavy cream. Powdered sweetener, I'm using this word. So when you see confectioners, this is the one you wanna use in frosting because it's powdery. If you use the granular one, you'll have the little crystals of sweetener in your, um, in your frosting. And you know you want frosting to be velvety smooth. So we got a third of a cup. You just scrape this in here. It had a little cream in the measuring cup, but it's all going in there. 
mix with the paddle attachment. Okay, I don't have one of those fancy mixers, so I'm just gonna mix with the old school one. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, I found some cream, some goat's cheese. Get in there. So we're gonna mix our cream cheese and sweetener first. I don't know if y'all like sound or no sound. I know occasionally I'm between meetings too, just trying to get a cake for Mr. Nicaragua. It's his birthday today. Let's see if we can, let me know if it's too loud. All right, so hopefully you guys can see. One moment, class. I don't know who keeps shopping online. Okay, not too loud. All right, so you guys see here, we mixed our cream cheese and our sweetener. So this to me looks like a really nice, like, um, you know those fruit dips that you have in like the fruit trays? I'm gonna taste some. Ooh, mm, 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 ooh, ooh, that by itself. Sweetened cream cheese, ah, mm. Now add the heavy cream, one and a half cups, okay. Here's one cup. Oh, this had the egg whites in it. Let me rinse it. It's got that tangy like goat's cheese. Yeah, happy birthday, Senor Nicaragua. Y'all know these kids. One and a half heavy whipping. Again, for me, dairy free. If you can have dairy, have it. This is my coconut heavy whipping cream. So that's how I keep it dairy free. So here's one cup, nice and creamy. We'll see, we're gonna call the rest of it a half because it's empty. All right, heavy whipping cream and a teaspoon of vanilla. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we want that vanilla. And we want all of this because we're greedy, greedy gong gongs. Get all that out. Teaspoon of vanilla. Don't mind if I do. Teaspoon. Is that the teaspoon? Yeah. All right. I don't know why it's got lipstick on it. Oh, God. How embarrassing. All right. Teaspoon of vanilla. Yeah. Teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's 15. His dad said he'll start teaching him how to drive. All right. So we got our vanilla. We want all of that. So now we're gonna whip this. Now here's the thing, y'all say it's not too loud. I don't know how long this is gonna take, but it says mix until stiff peaks form. One moment. All right. So let's see if I can whip it up. Whip it, whip it good. You didn't ask for that. Okay, um, stiff peaks. Stiff peaks means when I lift it up like this, I've got nice like ball of frosting. It's not dripping down like this. So let's get to it. Let's see if I can do it with my left hand. And now I'll read y'all's comments. Okay, I better not try that. I imagine it's splattering all over me. I'm 
I'm gonna go high slowly. Sorry, y'all. It's really loud to me. But yeah, you can see we're getting there. We don't have stiff peaks. So for anybody new, I'll hold it up this way. You see how when I lift up the, um, what are these things called? I don't know. How the frosting drips down. It's supposed to stay stiff. Think of like marshmallow fluff. So I got a ways to go. It's loud to me, so I'm gonna give you guys a little music. I'm not going anywhere, but we're gonna keep going until we um, have stiff peaks. Hopefully not very much.
Y'all, we're still going. It's still liquid. I don't. I didn't look in the video, and it doesn't say on here how long she whips it for. But this is one of those reasons why, if you have one of those like KitchenAid in the back, you can just set it and do other things. But this is literally the last step. What we're doing is we're putting air inside the frosting because we want it to be thick and smearable, if that's a word. We're still going. I'm wondering if I put too much heavy whipping cream and not enough um, cream cheese, goat cheese in there, but it seems like it's getting thicker. I just don't think these are stiff peaks. If anybody wants to look, it's not on the recipe how long she beat it for. If anybody wants to look at the video, does she say, if you fast forward to this point, how long it takes her to turn this into frosting because I use heavy whipping cream well coconut cream
I think I'm gonna do that. Cause it's not, it's still very liquid. It's a little bit thicker, but that's not, that's not frosting, but let me taste it. Ooh, tastes amazing. Whew. Let's check. Cause I just watched it right before here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna next step. All right guys, so this is what it should look like. This is the texture you are. So this is what it should look like. Let's see if she says how long. And you, yeah, not mixing it. Um, like letting it sit all by itself for five minutes is really important. Uh oh. You know, we did that. We did that part. So, uh, it's nice and whipped what, or cream to get the attachments. You can use a, a hand mixer. So, that's what we're using, okay? And, and we're, we're adding one and a half cups. And then you add your, and we are just using one teaspoon of vanilla. And, and now let's go. Okay. You know, like thick size. So I didn't get the. Let me try something. But I'm just going to set that to the side for a minute. If it starts up, or do I need to add some, some more, more um, um, cheese to it, or goat cheese? I'm going to see if I have have a bit of goat's cheese. We, we need that to whip. We need. I do have the Philadelphia cream cheese to Add this because I was low on, on the goat's cheese. If that, really, you would have enough goat's cheese to keep free. Turn, put my whatever it's called, called beater in there. See if that gives the frosting. <clears throat>
I could use that today. Talking to myself, I wish it, but but me. So we're gonna get some strawberry, some nice, nice bummer. All right, let me. Just cut these with a frosting. Now I'm in there. So where it is? I thought, but I've made the um, coconut cream before. Thing that I think I can. Do. Oh, I know what I can do. Class, I'm gonna put put some. And I have coconut put a little bit in there to thicken it up because I act like frosting and I'll show you the thing. But that's done. We have some sliced strawberries. That's gonna go frosting. I'll show you guys how she did it. I just had some sliced strawberries. Cover. All right, I know I have it out.
I want to see if this will work. Coconut milk powder. Absolutely. I'll post the pictures, y'all. It's all right. All right. So I'm, I'm this is dry, just like I'm gonna put some dried coconut milk. If that will help it thicken up. A Really good. I'm, I'm going to go for a little, little bit more, kind of stiffen up like frosting. I'm like, what is that, that taste of Philadelphia cream cheese? All right. Let's see if we blend. If it stiffens up a little bit. More room for air? Oh, 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 Maggie, move it around in a slow, in the high, highest setting. Okay. okay. And we'll see. Maybe I was whipping highest setting.
told you I prefer cooking over baking. But it's a little chunky, y'all. I'm going to call it. It's not as creamy. I have to do. Stop now. It's not as creamy, but it is definitely... Teamwork makes the dream work. Hi, Victoria. Ooh. Coconutting. Good with this. Couple more minutes. I think. It is looking frosty. All right. These are my, my stiff peaks. Oh, the things I do. So, so now we're, we're almost done, y'all. I know it's, it's like, so we're going to spoon some of this. So this is just like. Me. No, nobody knows how to eat. No. We're going to get picked up. This big old, me enough to call it mostly. Deep. All right, coconut milk. We're going to just kind of mix the in here. This is going between the two layers. So let's get our Oh my God, I love you guys. So we have our almond flour cake. Smear our straw. So each bite, strawberry, all these kids, fit it out. All right, hopefully that is better. I've got the strawberries and the frosting. This is gonna be between the cake. The good cross section. Try and smooth it out, hopefully that's better. Oh my God, I know. Eat the bowl with the frosting and the strawberries. Woo, okay. So this is what we have, frosting and strawberries. So we're gonna take the other almond cake, almond flour cake, and put it over top. All right, so now comes the fun part. Oh my gosh. So y'all remember our chocolate got a little skin in it, on it. The um skin in it that doesn't sound good the instructions did say to um cover it with plastic wrap y'all but i was rushing so that's on me so now i'm just gonna mix it up and we're gonna pour this on here and smooth it out I 
I don't have a cake turner. I don't have anything fancy. This is just mama's homemade cake. All right. And let's pour. I'm going to transfer it. Stay right there for one second. All right. One second, y'all. I'm going to try and get this to come. Oh, crap. Down the sides so y'all can see what's happening. We want it to come down the sides. So you just move it slowly around the edges so it can come down the sides. I'm gonna pour a little bit more. It's okay, Lauren. You missed a train wreck. I'm trying, y'all. All right, we're gonna scrape out the rest of this because y'all already know our sugar-free chocolate and cream Oh. oh my God. Then I got to go to the pickup line. Just scoop it all in the middle. I wasn't even planning to do this y'all, but I try, I try. If nothing else you can say, Maggie will try hard every day. All right, so I'm pushing it over. Y'all can see, wait till you see it dripping down the side. Oh my God, what a mess, a beautiful mess. QQ said, oh, we're gonna put some on the outside. <laughs> QQ says the inside stuff on the outside stuff. Don't you worry, it's coming. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try and move some of this around so I can get, oh, it's hard to, y'all see what I'm trying to do? I'm gonna move this around. Got most of it covered. I got a little couple bald spots. <sighs> Y'all, I'm getting chocolate everywhere. All right. So we got that. And oh yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. So now... For the final, oh, I forgot, there's more strawberries. For the final presentation, y'all saw the top. Gonna try and move the whole cake. And place it. Oh God, please don't come apart. Oh yeah, cross section. Y'all, I could just jump in here. I'm so greedy. Oh my God, this is embarrassing. Okay. And if you think I'm waiting for the birthday boy to get the first slice, you have, you are sorely mistaken. Okay, sorry. All right, we got our struggle frosting. All right, so we got our cake. <sighs> okay, thank you, y'all. Thank you. Oh, I'm thirsty. I'm all stressed out. Okay, now. If you saw the picture, it's chocolate, right? Okay, so y'all can see what we have so far. So we have the chocolate frosting. We have our cake mostly covered. I don't have the big scraper thing. Look, this is what I got. All right, so now what she said. Right, I'll leave this here so y'all can see. Get a glass. Get a Ziploc bag. Let me move this, y'all, because if I make a mistake, I'm gonna put it behind me so you can see. It's here. But just in case I have any other thing, any other hiccups. 
All right, so we're going to put our little cake frosting tip in the corner here. So I just need to snip off this corner. I have never done this before. I am not a baker. I am the one that goes to the store, but I am trying y'all. I am trying and my scissors are no good. All right. So we're going to put this here. Hopefully it doesn't come out. Then to make it easy to fill, you put the, um, we're gonna scoop the frosting in here. The real Maggie cake, oh, thank you, Q. So this is what we have, y'all, just a drinking glass with a, a gallon Ziploc bag. All right, so I'm gonna try, that's why I wanted this to be a little thicker. All right, so we're just gonna put, oh, I'm glad they were born once a year, this is a lot. All right, so we're gonna get the frosting. It could be frostier, but this is what I got, y'all. You could, you could eat this with fruit, with whatever. All right, so you put it in here like that. You use a glass for support. Then you close it and squeeze it down. So let's see. Oh, it's starting to come out. Oh no, slow down. So we're gonna go around the side first. If y'all saw the thumbnail, she went around. Y'all, it's working. It's a little bit light, but I wish I had a proper cake clatter. I don't. And I should have used a black plate, a black uh, plate, so you can see the contrast. But y'all, all right, Whew. and it's falling off the sides. Okay, and then lastly, I don't know. I think she had like four strawberries on the top. Let me find some that look nice. Two, three, four. How many strawberries are in the thumbnail? I don't know, y'all. Yes, I'm glad. They're... This is a lot. Let me rinse these off. All right. Oh, my God. All right. Let's just get... Yeah. It's too much. Ooh-wee, I know, right? Exactly. And then... That's why I really needed it to thicken up. So, Vel, thank you. My dear, how many pick, how many strawberries are in the thumbnail, y'all? Is it just four or is it more than that? <laughs> Maya, I'm glad you didn't see the craziness. All right, so we've got four strawberries. So I think she just did a dollop. I'll just do the four corners. Dollop. Y'all look at Maggie making a cake. Dollop. Oh my God. Y'all, I did it. I did it. Oh, one, two, three, four, five strawberries. We'll do one in the middle. Thank you, Mona. Four. I have never made a cake before. Five. All right. So I need one more strawberry and she has like that. Mine's a little soft, so I'm gonna have to press it down so it doesn't slide. Two, three, sliding, 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 four. Let me get one more strawberry. I did it, I did it, I did it. Oh my gosh. Rinsing y'all from the baking powder. Oh my God. To the whiptastic Olympics. Oh my God, I've never made a cake before. I'm not a baker, I'm a cooker. It's intimidating to me because baking, you have to get it right. Yeah, I did it, I did it! I did it, y'all, I did it! Oh my goodness, it's melting. Oh my gosh. I did it, y'all, look at the cake! Oh, okay. All right, pictures, Maggie. Hold up. 
pictures and then you better believe I'm taking a bite. I sure am. Ah, crap. Hold up, frosting. Where's the phone? Here's the phone. Phone's got whipped cream on it. It's all right, y'all. Oh, am I gonna put it in the fridge? Put it in the fridge, stat. Can I take a picture? I mean, can I get a slice? Can mom get a slice or no? Do I get some? I will put it in the fridge. And I could even put some sprinkles on it. I gotta wait! I don't like y'all anymore. Okay, I'm going to get these kids. I can get a bite. Can I get like, y'all look, it's starting to, you know, what if I, oh, thank you. All right, for research purposes, cause y'all know Slim Shady be giving me grief. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's falling off. That's my piece, right? Exactly. The Look at this. Look at this. Look at my cake. Okay. Oh my God. Y'all, I have not eaten. Okay. Focus, Maggie. Oh, what do I do? Y'all can't even see. Look at this. You can't even see where I cut it. Can y'all see the cross section? Okay. Let me clean this. Let me scoop that up. Greedy. All right. And just so y'all can see, it's not for me, it's for you. Can you see the all right, we're gonna put this in the fridge. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's hanging off the bottom. Oh, I should have used a platter. I've never made a cake before. Put it in the fridge, put it in the fridge. Okay, fridge, 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 fridge. Okay. Oh my God. I think the other strawberry is sliding. Oh my God, y'all. But for now, for now, we have almond flour cake, sugar-free, gluten-free, mostly dairy-free. Y'all, when I tell you, okay, does it taste like Publix? Look at that cake. Happy birthday, Marcus. Y'all, I gotta pick up these kids from school. Two more bites. Okay. I gotta figure out how to get this frosting to not be so soft. Maybe it's a plant base. Mmm. 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 Y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. I'm not gonna say anything. Y'all know what kids do when they come home from school? The first place they open? 
Oh, thank you. Yes, gotta go, gotta go. I know, let me pick up these kids. They're texting me. Oh, God, Lee, mom can't get a break, y'all. The cake is excellent. A little frosting disaster. Mm. Leanne, I'm wrapping up. And I'm over here eating Marcus's birthday cake. This was a struggle. <sighs> Y'all, that was good. Now I gotta make some real food. <laughs> I know, thank you, Gail. Thank you. <clears throat> Pictures will go up. I'll take a picture of Marcus eating this slice. Y'all will see it, look at me. On the community tab. Oh, I didn't give you a twirl. New dress. Oh my gosh. My red lip is gone, but, oh, is my bow still here? I got the black and white polka dots. So, oh gosh, y'all, there's chocolate. If you could see my kitchen, but that cake was made with love. Oh yes, taste the merch, y'all, it was so good. It was so good. I hope he likes it. But if even if he doesn't, I tried. I really, really tried. Whew. All right, y'all. I'm going to go pick up these kids. Because if you could see, like, see this and my floor and the sink. <clears throat> thank you. Oh, thank you, guys. Polka dots are kind of my thing now. They're they're quirky and they're fun and they're feminine and kind of a throwback. And yeah, absolutely. You love it? Absolutely. Okay. The cake has stopped sliding in the fridge. It's kind of like, eek. it didn't go all the way down. Ta-da. Thank you very much. All right, class, a little impromptu, Leanne. Sorry you missed it. Honestly, guys, I wasn't planning it. I saw this video. I said, I'm going to make a cake for Marcus. Today is his 15th birthday. Oh, bring them home and let them see what, what all this took. The pantry, I was looking for the baking powder. There's almond flour. There's, it's a lot. So when these boys act a monkey, y'all know, mama tried and you got a cake. Does it taste like Publix? No. Is it oblong and irregular and slanted? Yes, but you are my son and I do love you. Don't always like you, I'm not even gonna lie, but I do love you. So scholars, I love you all too. Thank you for walking me through this. Aw, oh, Arm says he'll never forget Mama made. Yeah, y'all, I'm just not good at it. You know, my mom is the queen baker and so it's intimidating. So y'all, trust me, you think I'm good at stuff like, I don't bake because with baking, you have to get it right. You have to have the right ingredients. You have to get it measured right. I just like making up stuff. Uh, oh yeah, you know you know what, mm -hmm. Oh, and if that is true, it's healthy. Except for that little bit of Philadelphia cream cheese. But honestly, y'all, I think it was my technique. But adding that dry coconut milk powder helped thicken it up and then Vell's technique, we got it. All right, class. Ah, this was an honest cooking lesson. Whew. All right, y'all saw it. All right, let me get myself together. Oh, Nana, did Nana, Nana whipped him up. There's cupcakes here. She made his own food, gave him some pocket money. Nana sent the boys home with, you know, a smorgasbord, but you know, I wanted to try. I'm the mom. I'll never be as good as my mom, but I wanted to try. All right, it's the first day of school, so I'm gonna pick up two kiddos. We're gonna come home unwind from the first day and um we'll see i'll be back tomorrow and uh keep an eye out on my instagram facebook and my community tab i'm going to uh, let marcus take a bite of his cake and uh, i'll take a picture of his face and you all can let me know if you think he really likes it or if he's just being polite but at this point cake is done pictures are going up all right class bye